guys, Joe with OMGRC.com, and today, finally, we got the uh, Hobby Wing system, the Easy Run Max 10 system. We got the uh, 60 amp electronic speed controller, and then we have our 4000 kV brushless motor. So, we already have that installed in here. So, we are going to be giving this option for you guys in case you don't want to do the install yourself. So, we're going to go ahead and test this thing. We're going to run it on a 2S LiPo, 33 tooth pinion gear. I don't have a 32 tooth pinion gear that's what would come stock the, and then the stock one is just plastic and it wouldn't go on the drive shaft very well so we're going to use the 33 so that speed will be just off just a, a touch and then we have a 37 tooth pinion gear that we're going to go ahead and run so we're going to do two runs one run will be with a 2s lipo 33 tooth pinion gear and then we're going to go ahead and run it on a 3s see how fast it goes and then we're going to go ahead and swap over to our 37 tooth pinion gear running on 2s and 3s and give you those numbers as well so let's go ahead and get started all right so we're all zeroed out running on a 2s lipo 33 tooth pinion gear 2s lipo 4000 kv motor 60 amp electronic speed controller let's give it a run All right, so it did 41 miles an hour on a 2S LiPo. Here, so let's go ahead and put a 3S in it now. All right, so now that we have our 3S LiPo in there, it's a 5,000 milliamp 50C discharge. You can kind of see it in there maybe. Just take my word for it, it is a 5,000. It's a Venom battery that's in it. So as of right now, we ran it on a 2S, 33 tooth pinion gear. It is uh, 41 miles an hour on a 2S. Let's go ahead and see how fast this thing goes on a 3S. All right, so we did 60. Oh, all right, 60 miles an hour. Let's try it one more time. All right, so it did 61 miles an hour. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, beef up the gear on it too, make it go fast. All right, so we're zeroed out, except for four miles an hour, just kind of moved a little bit. So we're on a 2S LiPo, 37 tooth pinion gear. That is the biggest you can fit in this car. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and run this thing. 4,000 kV, 60 amp electronic speed controller. Let's give it a rip. All right, so we did 41 with the uh, 33 tooth pinion gear, so we just went up a little bit faster. So let's go ahead and dump that uh, 3S light bone and see how much faster we go on that 37 tooth pinion gear. Ooh, it's awesome. All right, so we're on our 3S LiPo. Uh, ground surface is about 120 degrees as of right now and climbing. So all right, let's go ahead and get this thing, give it its last rip on a 37 tooth pinion gear. I couldn't get up to top speed. So it's still at 60, 61, but I, I'm bouncing all over the place, so. All right, see what we did. 61 here. Oh my God, messed it up. All right, guys, so there you go. 
little bit of action. Hopefully I caught that on camera, so I'm not even sure at this point in time. But yeah, the easy run system combo hobby wing system, what we're gonna do is we got enough aluminum drive shafts so there, um, so we'll be able to do some upgrades for you, some of you guys. So if you've already pre-ordered your car or if you're looking to still order it, we'll give the option of go ahead and we'll install the Easy Run system along with the aluminum drive shaft. Wasn't able to get any faster just because of the fact that, well, there was a lot of construction that was going on. So there was rocks. I kind of knew this was going to happen. I had gut feeling. I saw the car lift a little bit before. And I was like, oh man, I'm gonna, it's going to flip. So I sent it anyway, kind of bummed, but I knew it. That's why I took some pictures ahead of time because I knew this thing was gonna get airborne. But it moves, man, with that system in there, it's a ripper, man, not a bad system. It actually went faster than the more powerful system that I had in it. Well, I thought it was more powerful. So it, before it had a 4,400 kV motor in there, 80 amp electronic speed control, and now we got a 60 amp, 4,000 kV motor, and this system screams. Temperature-wise, uh, you gotta keep an eye on it. We're in Florida, it's very hard to, it was already like almost 120 degrees just on the ground surface, like around noon, so it's gonna get even hotter. Uh, the temperatures on the motor was like about 111 degrees. Uh, that's when I had that heat sink on there. So um, as far as like the, the motor and stuff like that, that stuff won't come with the car if you go ahead and you decide to go with the upgrade to it. Um, well, that's gonna be kind of like our labor, we'll call it, as far as this to do that stuff. So that anyhow, so what you'll get is an all brushless system if you decide to go with the Hobby Wing upgrade to it. I'll put the prices on there because as of right now, I'm doing the video, I'm not 100% sure. I gotta tally up everything. But there you go, man. Thing was cool. Uh, still bummed as far as this thing getting scratched. I'll get with Kyosho on it anyhow and see how much the body's gonna be anyhow when they're gonna come in. Cause I would like to have a nice new one. So if I gotta pay for it, it's all good. But it is a cool body. Anyway, appreciate you guys watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check us out at omgrc.com. We got shirts still available. So some sizes have been, you know, exhausted. But uh, yeah, definitely check us out. And uh, catch you on the next video. You guys take care and thank you again for watching. Peace. I'm not afraid of